She's so funny. Mayo Igaran. Yeah. If we sang Vibha Barishesha, huh? Oh, yeah. You mean you're Vaishnava Gopan? Bhakti Vinota Koshela. Vibha Vari Shesha. Jau Dalama. Vibha Vari Shesha Haloka Pravesha Nidrachari Yata Jeeva Nidva Vare Shesha Haloka Pravesha Nidrachari Yata Jeeva Bolo Hari Hari Mukunda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Griva Bolo Hari Hari Mukunda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Griva Nashim Havamana Shimadi Sudana Rajendra Nandana Shama Kutana Gatana Kaitaba Shatana Jaya Jatarati Rama Yashoda Dula Lao Govinda Gopala Vrindavana Puranjahara Gopi Priya Janna Radhika Ramana Bhavana Sundara Bhara Ravana Thakura Makana Tathara Kopi Jana Vashtrahari Rajera Rakala Gopa Vrinda Pala Chita Hare Vamsi Dari Yogendra Vandana Srinanda Nandana 
ब्रज जन्ना भाया हरे नवीन ने राधा रूपा मनोहरा मोहन बम से बिहारे Yashodanandhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakhamsanishudhanakh
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraya Nusta Praeshu Babadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtiki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 4, chapter number 24, entitled Chanting the Song Sung by Lord Shiva. And we're on text number 77. Vindate Purusho Masmad Yad Yad Echati Asatvaram Madgita Gitat Supritach Shriyasam Ekavalabhat Vindate Purusho Musmad Vindate Purusho Mushmad Yad Yad Echati Asatvaram Yad Yad Echati Asatvaram Mad Gita Gita Supritach Mad Gita Gita Supritach Shriyasam Ekavalabhat Shriyasam Ekavalabhat Vindate Purusho Mushmad Yad Yad Echatya Satvaram Mad Gita Gita Supritach Shreyasam Ekavalabhat Vindate Purusho Mushmad Yad Yad Echatya Satvaram 
Madhita Gita Supritach Shreyasam Ekavala Bhat Amusmat from the personality of Godhead. Yat yat that which ichati desires asadvaram being fixed. Madgita sung by me, Gitat by the song, Supritat from the Lord who is very pleased, Shreyasham of all benediction, Eka one, Vallabhat from the dear most. Translation The Supreme Personality of Godhead is the dear most objective of all auspicious benedictions. A human being who sings this song sung by me can please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Such a devotee being fixed in the Lord's devotional service can acquire whatever he wants from the Supreme Lord. Purpur by Srila Prabhupada. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, 
yam lava chaparam lavam manyate nadikam tata. If one can attain the favor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he has nothing to aspire for, nor does he desire any other gain. When Dhruva Maharaj became perfect by austerity and saw the Supreme Personality of Godhead face to face, he was offered any kind of benediction he wanted. However, Dhruva replied that he did not want anything, for he was perfectly satisfied with the benediction of seeing the Lord except for the service of the Supreme Lord. Whatever we want is called illusion, maya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Jivarsvarupahaya nitya krishnara nitya das. Every living entity is an eternal servant of the Lord. Therefore, when one engages in the service of the Lord, he realizes the highest perfection of life. A faithful servant can fulfill any desire by the grace of the Master, and one who engages in the transcendental loving service of the Lord has nothing to aspire for separately. All his desires are fulfilled simply by engaging constantly in the Lord's loving service. Lord Shiva shows us that any devotee can be successful simply by chanting the prayers which he has recited. Do John one? Ning 我们想要的其他的一切都是错觉或者假象玛雅满足任何的愿望 Om Jnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chatsuran Militanena Asma Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupa Tarabhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Shri Niva, Nikai Gitama Fanima. Do you want to Nikai Fanima? Yeah? Um, 
You want a microphone? No? You just sit there and... Okay. Yeah, you could make two groups, you know. If you want, you can make two groups, then it will be easier. All right, so we're hearing Lord Shiva, he'd been offering prayers. Lord Shiva, he had composed a beautiful song in the form of a prayer to offer to Lord Krishna. And Lord Shiva had sung the song himself and he had given this song to other, to other people also that they could also benefit by singing this song. As he says here, it says here, a human being who sings this song, sung by me, sung by Lord Shiva, can please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we can please Lord Krishna or Lord Vishnu by singing songs which glorify Him. But just like we were singing Vibhavari Shesha, it's all the names of the Lord, different incarnations, different pastimes of the Lord. So by singing the Lord's name, the Lord is pleased. So Lord Krishna likes to hear the devotee chant his holy name. He said, Lord Krishna himself said, Naham tishtani vaikunte yogi nam ridayeshu va tatra tishtani narada yatra gayanti mad bhakta. Lord Krishna said that I am not in vaikuntha and he said I am not in the hearts of the yogi meditating on me but I and wherever my devotee, like Narada, are chanting my holy name. So Lord Krishna is very pleased when the devotees will chant His holy name. He, the Lord describes Himself that He's very pleased with Narada because Narada is always chanting the holy name. Narada is always preaching the glories of devotional service. So the Lord is always pleased with him. And Lord Shiva said, when a devotee is fixed in devotional service, then he, he can acquire whatever he wants from the Supreme Lord. Now that, that may be tempting, you may think, oh, I can get all my material desires, all the things I want, I can get them by chanting the song of Lord, this song, the song of Lord Shiva. But Prabhupada explains that what we really want is devotional service because all of the other things do not satisfy us. You know, oh I want money, oh then when we get money but then we're not satisfied. It, it, we're not able to get the pleasure or the happiness we want from it. We want to have fame, but that can bring also so many problems. If you get fame, you can end up being very miserable. 
And if you want to get, what, what else do people want? Maybe you want a family. That can also be a big headache to have a family, to bring up a family. It's such a responsibility. So there are so many desires we have. But actually what we really want over all these material desires, the thing which we really want is devotional service. Because it is only by devotional service that we can become satisfied. So in the purport, Srila Prabhupada talks about Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj had gone to the forest as a young boy and he wanted a kingdom. He wanted a great kingdom, greater than his grandfather, greater than Swayambhuva Manu, who was his grandfather. So the Lord appeared to Dhruva. Dhruva had gone to the forest. Well, he had met Narada Muni first of all, and Narada Muni had instructed him. And then he went to the forest in Vrindavan, uh, went to Madhuvan, and he was meditating there and doing austerity for six months. And after six months, the Lord appeared. And then he told Dhruva Maharaj, I'm going to fulfill all your desires. But Dhruva said, oh, now I don't have any desire. All my desires are fulfilled because I have seen you. I have seen the Supreme Lord. So now I am satisfied. And Dhruva Maharaj said, when I came to the forest, I had material desires. I wanted a big kingdom. But I realize now that that kingdom was no more valuable than pieces of broken glass. Broken glass has no value, it's simply troublesome, it can cut you. Now you simply show. What's that? So, broken glass can give you a lot of pain and trouble. And Dhruva Maharaj understood that his material desire to have a kingdom was not worthwhile, and he gave it up because he had something much better. What did he have? He had devotional service. And he, his devotional service had brought him the most valuable thing. He was looking for broken glass in the beginning, but he found a beautiful jewel. He found a beautiful jewel. And that jewel, of course, was the Supreme Lord. The Personality of Godhead appeared to him. So that was the beautiful jewel. One who has that jewel, then they don't want anything else. Fully satisfied. Dhruva Maharaj said, now I am fully satisfied. So that is the nature of devotional service. That when we engage in devotional service, we will be fully satisfied. It satisfies the soul. Yesterday we were quoting that verse, the devotee asked, he came in and asked the question about the verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Savai Pumsam Paro Dharmo Yato Bhaktir 
adhoksaje ahaitaki apriti hatha yayatma suprasidati which means that the supreme occupation for all people to attain is loving service to the Lord. Such service must be unmotivated and uninterrupted to completely satisfy the self. So if we want that complete satisfaction, we want to get that full satisfaction, we have to engage in loving service for the Lord. That in our service must have these qualities, it must be unmotivated and uninterrupted. Material motivation will be an obstacle to us developing pure love for Krishna. We want to develop devotion to Krishna which is pure and that means no material desire. Finish up our business. In the material life we do business. We want something in return for our service. You do some service, you expect to get something back. But Prabhupada said devotional service means no more business, just simply service without any desire. And this is possible when we develop that, the, the right mood. We have to be in the right consciousness that we want to please Krishna. We're not thinking of our own self. When we think of our own self, that is selfish. And when we think of Krishna, then that is selfless. So material world Everyone is selfish, they're thinking about me, I want, you have to make me happy. People will all say like that, right? And, but in devotional service we think, I want to make Krishna happy. We put aside our own self because we are the servant. Krishna is the master and we are the servant. Ekala Ishwara Krishna or Sabhritya. Krishna is the Ishwara and there is only one. He is the Param Ishwara, the supreme controller, the supreme master and we are all the servants and we never become the master. But there's more pleasure in being the servant than in being the master. Just like we say it's better to give than to receive. You get more pleasure out of giving than in receiving. So the servant, his job is to give service to the master. And when he sees the master is pleased, then the servant feels also pleasure. We feel so much happiness. Just like we perform service for the deities. Our deity here is called Radha Krishna Kanaya. Right? Krishna Kanaya. Lord Krishna has an older brother, Bal Balarama. The older brother is called, is known as Dauji and the younger brother is called Kanaya. So Lord Krishna 
the deity here named by Srila Jaipataka Swami Maharaj, Radha Krishna Kanaya. And the deities on the left, Nitai Goranga Roy. Nitai Nityananda and Goranga Rai. Rai is a title, means like a king. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is called Goranga Rai. So these deities have special names. Lord Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra on the right. Our, we come to the temple and we serve them. We have to do a lot of service for the deities, maintaining the temple. This is their temple and we have to keep the temple nice and we have to perform kirtan every day. We perform kirtan for the pleasure of the deities. When we come to Arti, we will also dance in the kirtan for the pleasure of the deity. We are dancing to please the deity and we are speaking Srimad Bhagavatam, not just for the devotees but for the deities also. Even nobody is here, still we will speak Srimad Bhagavatam because the deities like to hear. The Lord is here in the deity form. The deity see, they see us dancing, they see us coming to temple and offering obeisances. They not only see, they also hear. The deities have senses and they can see, they can hear. And they hear the kata, they hear the kirtan, and they also eat, of course. We cook for them and offer foodstuffs for them for their pleasure. And they can talk. If you are pure, you can also talk with them. There are many cases where devotees talk with the deities. Srila Prabhupada used to have us that every devotee we have to come in front of the deities every week and we will talk to the deity and tell the deity what service we have done in the last week and what we're planning to do in the next week. In other words, we will give a report to the deity. And we would read also the expenses, the accounts, just like every morning we announce how many books we have distributed and what was the income from different sources. So this is for the pleasure of the deities, not just for the devotees but for the deities. They are the proprietors, they are the masters here. We are the servants, right? Our duty is to serve and we get pleasure in serving. That it is so satisfying that we don't want anything else. We don't want to change anything. We're so happy, we, so, we get so much pleasure in being the servant. Just like the gopis of all the servants of Krishna, it said the gopis of Vrindavan are the best, the greatest servants of Krishna. How did they serve Krishna? Lord Krishna would go to the forest and he would play on his flute in the night. And then when the gopis would hear Lord Krishna playing on the flute, they would all go running to Krishna to be with him. And they would leave everything to go to Krishna. 
Even it said one gopi, she was putting on her jewelry and she'd only put on one earring, but she heard Krishna call and she immediately ran to Krishna. She didn't even think to put on the other earring. And another gopi had a baby and she put aside her baby to go to be with Krishna. So the gopis, they gave up everything, even their chastity, the most treasured possession of a woman in the Vedic culture is her chastity. But the gopis sacrifice their chastity just to be with Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna was so grateful to them that he said, I cannot repay you. You have given so much to me that I cannot repay you. And Lord Krishna was thinking that how is it these gopis enjoy more than me? Krishna thought that I want to enjoy, I have come here to enjoy. But these gopis are enjoying more than me, many millions of times more than me. They're getting greater happiness than I am getting. And therefore Lord Krishna understood that I'm going to come as a devotee because the devotees get more pleasure than I get from being the master. So therefore Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was this, in the mood of the gopis. He cultivated the mood of the topmost gopi, Srimati Radharani. He cultivated Radha Bhava, the mood of Radharani. Because there's more pleasure, more ecstasy in service to Krishna. The devotee wants that pleasure, service to Krishna. So we are also trying to cultivate a taste for devotional service. Of course, in the beginning, it is difficult. We have to practice. Everything comes by practice. Okay, so are there any questions? Huh? Ibar? Yeah. Nina, you think that on? You can understand. Janika, ni you went in, ma. Sometimes Lord Chaitanya would offer devotees benediction. Ju Chaitanya Jinchan gave functions at Jufu. Alright? Your functions are dead out to Chaitanya the Jufu. Your ego functions are Kola Veka Sridhar, Mai Shang Jaldaran. Right? So bananas. So Lord Chaitanya as Sridhar. You I want to give you benediction, 
Ju Chaitanya Gosa Shida Wokegini Jufu Kolaveka Shida said, oh, I, I don't want anything. Kolaveka Shida said, Vashama Dobu Yao. Mr. Lord Chaitanya said, You're very poor. Nihan Chong. And your, your house is very, very broken down, very bad condition, neither fancy ye puhao, neither ifu ye poa, your cloth is all old and dirty and soft and got holes in it. But Sridhar said, but I'm happy, wahan kaisin. Vashema Dobu Yao. And uh, I get, Sridhar got his income by selling bananas. So he didn't get much income, very small income. Bananas grow everywhere in Bengal. So <laughs> it's not very good business, sell bananas. And the monkeys will come, they'll steal them. And they, Mongjala, you. Shangjiao Zhong de Tebe Rongi, and do a defang, do your Shangjiao Shu, Shangjiao Pini, Hose Ye Tola Shangjiao. So Shrida the Shoru Putoa had not much money, no income. But whatever income he got, he would always spend half to do what? Tapata de Shoru. Yong Shama Tosha Tatoshama, Yong Tarashuru Zoshama. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he worshipped the Ganga, but at, he would always spend half of his in Tapa Ipar Tadashuru Chombai Hanga Metian every day. And he said, I'm happy. What 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 me or Ujud what me are you want? Wang Go Wang Juzai Tada Gong Dian Xiao Niao Juzai Tada Wo Taman An Megaran Shang Shou An Jiao Taman Da Ching Kuan. Right, we're all happy, everybody's happy. The king lives in his palace, and the bird lives in his nest, in the tree. Everyone is happy according to their karma, according to their past activities, everyone is enjoying or suffering. Yeah. So he said, I don't want anything, I don't, I don't need anything, whatever I have is enough. So Lord Chaitanya was very pleased with his mood of pure devotion. Ju Chaitanya Tibe Mani Doi Tada Taidu. Okay. Why he worship Ganga? We worship Ganga just like we worship Tosi. Why do we worship Tosi? Advaita meo chong bai Ganga, can she ta gong fang hang her the shoy gan talasi yea chi dao ju shen. Chong Ling Sing Shijia Shala, right? Advaita worshipped the Ganga. Uh, he didn't worship the Ganga, but he offered Ganga water with Tosi and he offered to the Lord and he called the Lord to come down for the. And that, that's why Lord Chaitanya appeared because Advaita was calling him to come. And when he was calling him, he was offering Ganges water with Tosi leaf. Richard Machombai hung her. 
Why, why do we worship Tosi? We worship Tosi. I beg you, make me a follower of the cowherd dances of Raja. Please give me the privilege of devotional service. We worship Tosi to become a devotee. Yeah, if you think of the translation of the Tosi Arti song. O Tosi, beloved of Krishna, I bow before you again and again. My desire is to obtain the service of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. What do you want? Sri Changwe Radha Krishna the Pura. Chingi Wajuhu, Rangwa Changwe Nida Radha Krishna the Pura. So, Tongyang the Tai Chong Bai Hang Ha. Mel Uja, do you want? In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it says the Lord comes in the Kali Yuga, He comes in the form of wood as Lord Jagannath and He comes in the form of water as the Ganges. So the Ganga is also one of the forms of Krishna. There are different moods in worshipping Ganga. Yoda ren chong bai hang ha taman ren we hang ha yeshut Krishna. The Kali Nin Dai Ju Chaitanya Chaitanya Charitamrita Ching Dian Shua. Thy Kali Nin Dai Shan Thy Muto Bin Chang Jagana. Thy Shoi Bin Chang Hang Ha. So Hang Ha Yeshu Krishna to each own manifestation. Tenth chapter. Bhujavanga Dishijang, 10th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Vibhuti Yoga, of flowing rivers, I am the Ganga. So the Ganges is a form of Krishna, but devotees will worship Ganga. Some devotees, they will never take bath in the Ganga, they will only take the water, put it on their head. Yoda Feng Shen Zhe Bu Jin Chu Hang Ha Mu Yu Ta Men Zhe Ba Yi Dian Shui Feng Zai Ta Men De Tou Shang Because they, they think the gun, they, why do people just take the water and put on the head, why don't they bathe? Because they think Ganges is pure. Ganges is Krishna, so they want to respect Krishna. So they think, I'm not pure, so I should, I should just offer obeisances. They will just come and offer obeisance. So, some, some of the Vaishnavas even that, I think it's the Sri Vaishnavas, like Ramanuja, Sri Tutuansi, Tamanya Bhujenchu Hang Ha Muyu. Pundarik Vijanidi. Taya Vedada Tasha Iga Vedada functions, Taya Bhujin Chu Hang Ha Muyu, Taja Ding Bai Hang Ha. Can we do Tai Du? Prabhupada, may I go to woman Bhujin Chu Hang Ha? Ju Chaitanya Tashiwan Jin Chu Hang Ha Mun. She is asking, should we go in the Ganga? But then, yeah, we, usually we go. But some people they don't. They have that mood. Megar and the Tai Du Topu Yang. Mm. 
地方，鸟有鸟的地方，但我们每个人也有各自不同的地方，可能都有要心满，就是自己要知足，呃，然后就是。崇拜，所以呢，就是调整自己的心态啊，去为呃做公爱服务，这样就是正常的，而不是说，哎呀，看到别人嗯有好的条件，啊，我也要想好的条件，或者是怎么样，就是不满足，就是那样就不好。然后这个，那主角是本来说，啊、呃，主席吧，就是我们去唱他的歌，也能。获得成功，但是我们可能有时候会想，哎呀，我们唱了很多歌啊，但是不知道为什么还是没有得到想要的一切啊，可能会有这样一些想法。这个是，我们经过这这四节的学习，就是要培养自己。So he's asking that,、uh, you know, I was saying about the the king lives in the palace. And the bird lives in his nest. We should be satisfied with whatever condition we're in. But in the verse today, it says, if you sing the song of Lord Shiva, then you can get the, you can obtain everything you want, and you can get everything just by singing Lord Shiva's song. So if somebody may think, "Why、well, sang the song of Lord Shiva? But I didn't get everything. I didn't get everything I wanted." Well, we have to understand what we really want is devotional service. The other things, the material things, will never satisfy us. Ujjad, you will, Ujjad, don't see, but we want you want. We need, we need to be able to function. For Ujjad, don't see, we need some young. To die like Mahapa and give on. So devotional service is to end all of our material desires, and that is the sign of real devotion, that you become detached from the material world. Kalish Prabhu. <coughs> Pray to Janaka Prabhu that you sing the song by Rashiva. You still don't get the thing you want. Could it be that much that one should sing with the, actually the deep devotion and purity and the deep faith that he can get everything he want, but he may not be attached to all these things even if it's given to him. Meaning to say that just by chanting the holy name, we chant once. We can get purified, but it depends on the way how we accept the holy name, how we actually realize the potency of the holy name to actually get the impact of the holy name. Not just we may get the shadow, but not get the full impact. So could we apply that? No doubt, God Shiva says all this, but we may not get it because we don't have that that、uh, shada in the purity. To actually absorb the、uh, the quality of the song that will actually fulfill not the fulfill a material desire, but to fulfill the 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 results of such a, a song which is so powerfully written by、uh, Lord Shiva or even the Holy Name. I'm just thinking that it is it, it can give you what you want, but it has to be very much depend on your deep intention and the purity and the sincerity. In carrying out this uh, this uh, advice or uh, this uh, instruction, this is that could be the reason that why we cannot get what we want. Well, it could be it could be that Krishna didn't sanction it. Maybe Krishna considers is it going to be good for us or not. If Krishna thinks this is not really good for us, then he won't give it. He won't sanction. But it could be、uh, that we have to be more patient. Maybe things will come. 
What we really want though, what is the need of the soul? The soul needs devotional service. And the example is given, Dhruva Maharaj, Gajendra, all their different needs, but they became desireless. When, they, when the Lord appeared to them, the, they gave up their material desires. Can it be the same as Maharaj Katonga? Katvanga? <laughs> Maharaj Katvanga. They gave up everything at, at a moment's notice, right? Yeah, well, he, but he must have been detached in order to do that. If one is not detached, then he won't be able to do that. If Gadvanga Maharaj was so detached that he could fix his mind on the Lord. Gadvanga Maharaj, Nimin Yajatav, Gadvanga Maharaj, Sai Bhojavatam, Changiga Gowong, Ta Chu Ten Tang, Bang Chu Banchen and Da Amo, Zoe Banchen and Doi Taman E Taman Geta Juhu, Zoe Ta Wen Taman, and Tijit Gosu Wahayo, Do Chang Shijian, Sai Jiga Shijia, the Banchen and Gosata. So he taught Turan Likai Tian Tang by Dao Jiga Dichyo and Zai Chali Fang Vata De Sing Yi Fang Zai Krishna De Lin Hua Ju Fang Fang Chi Ta De Shinti Gui Gui Ling Sing Shijia. Tam Meo Hindo Shijian Jun Bi. Tu Shi Wa Shua Ta Mem Iban De Ren Bu Hui. Jiyang,如果我们知道我们这个只有一秒的时间,好呀。可是干干完的过往,他准备好了,他没有物质的衣服,所以他知道他只有一秒的时间,他放弃。所以的物质的责任,他穿住Krishna。Lindsay, who's never on me. Okay, Roman, we'll stop here today. Jinti and Jeshut, Hare Krishna, Srimad Bhagavatam Ki. Srila Prabhupada Ki.